Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another additional Creatures 2 Creature Spotlight video. And today we have the Strachosaurus. And I got it. I just spawned this one in, honestly. The level 150, but look at the coloration on this. I love it. But uh, they take a trike saddle, so basically level 16. Uh, they are a knockout tame. And they're pretty similar in size and somewhat function to a trike. Uh, 2100 health for level 150, well, level 200 actually, I should say. So, I mean, it's not great. Uh, pretty decent stamina. It actually drains relatively slow as well. Average weight. They still kind of low weight for the, for the level of the creature, but... One thing is, they can run a lot quicker than a trike. They they are a lot better for getting around on. And this is the pull-out sprint. It's, that's the speed that trikes hit when they do their charge attack. So... Definitely much better there. Uh, they're left quick. We'll gather thatch and berries, right? Uh, a little bit of wood, but yeah, definitely mainly thatch. And uh, see, also pierces armor. And it is actually a horn attack is what you're doing. Now, right click is an emote. It's a taunt emote, but still an emote. Doesn't really have any special you know, abilities or anything else to it. That's just kind of it. Looks cool, but no real effect in game other than the fact that it will stop you dead if you're running. So now, surprisingly, they're immune to radiation. Now, I say surprisingly, although I shouldn't, because well, they're fertile chamber creatures only. And uh, you'll find these guys: grasslands, green desert, uh, in the bog on Genesis, and the fertile chamber on Aberration. So. They're kind of everywhere, really, when you get down to it. The only map they don't spawn on currently is Genesis Part 2. So, one way you can find them, and they're actually surprisingly scrappy for their size. Hey. So, we're, we're doing 200 damage right now. Got a pretty quick attack to it, which is awesome. Come on. There you go. Downside, cannot harvest meat. So, if you make a corpse... Why am I... Oh. No, I shouldn't be... Oh, no, I actually am overweight. Because I gathered a whole bunch of berries while I was fighting that thing. That is something you watch out for, is their only attack also gathers berries. <laughs> Not the greatest. I'm like, why can't I move? Oh, well, that, that would be it exactly. But let's say they do about... Uh, we're doing, what, 210 damage roughly per hit? So, not bad. Um, not great, but not bad. Like I said, they are surprisingly scrappy for their size. You get down to it as well. Uh, they go down pretty easy with Trank Arrows. Probably a Boomerang as well. I've never really tried it. Uh, again, wouldn't try a Slingshot. Then again, I wouldn't use a Slingshot for anything other than like a Dilo or a Dodo. Um, anything else, it's just you're probably going to kill it before you knock it out. And the other thing is, these guys have a gang boost. So the more Strachosaurs you have together, the, the scarier they become. The bonus caps out at 9 Strachosaurs, and it gives a plus 8 bonus to the members of the uh, of the herd, I, should, I guess we should say. Which, at that point, yeah, they that would become a lot scarier when you get down to it. That and the color regions are just awesome. Now, this is just kind of borrowing a skin from Vanilla. There is a, a, a Strachosaur skin for... With the uh, vanilla trike, but this is its own creature, has different abilities, so on and so forth. It's not simply just a uh, a reskin trike, even though that's where the, uh, the appearance kind of came from. But I mean, all in all, it's actually a pretty good creature. I definitely prefer taming these over trikes. Uh, like, if you're on the island, though, it's usually easier to get your hands on a trike earlier than it is on a strachosaur. But they're definitely worth it. And with the game boost ability, I don't know about being viable for bosses. I'd have to use them against the Megapithecus, though. I haven't tried them on any other bosses yet. But, I mean, a herd of, you know, a couple of hundred Strachosaurs could probably take down the King Titan, and it would be really interesting to see from, you know, somewhere safe. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until the next one, I'm signing out. Have fun.